had weapons that could hurt or kill a deputy, and that's not all. And inside this jail, there are a lot of some, there are some many dangerous gang members. What the plan was, we don't know. We can tell you that it was quickly foiled. That FBI impersonator got a case of cold feet. An FBI badge can open a lot of doors, but if it is a fake, it can slam shut some doors too. In custody, 28-year-old Breg Beghumian, whose alleged plot to infiltrate the jail ended in the jail lobby. He was quickly detained. And what Beghumian had tried to sneak in? Alarming to investigators. A knife, two tasers, rubber gloves, handcuffs. A former jail commander tells Eyewitness News that they are tools that could have been used to break out a high-value inmate. Investigators say they checked out that angle. This is not found to be a investigated to be terrorist related. The incident happened on Tuesday. The suspect entering the inmate reception center flashing the badge, but instead of being buzzed in, deputies had questions. The suspect then fled. The chase was on. The suspect runs down the stairs from the inmate reception center across the street and then to another jail facility, Men's Central Jail. But here, deputies were waiting for him. Yeah, and at this time, we don't know what his uh, reason is. That's still being investigated. Tonight, the Association of Los Angeles Deputy Sheriffs is sounding the alarm. So many badges being marketed on the internet. They say in California, a person can be charged with a crime for impersonating a police officer, even if no one was harmed by their actions and the impersonator derived no benefit from them. As for safeguards at the jail, officials say that even if Baghumian had been able to enter the secure area, he would have not have gotten far. It goes through several protocols down to the watch commander, up to the captain, of what is the reason for conducting business inside the jail facility. Baghumian is set to appear in court on March 22nd. He faces two charges for impersonating a police officer and bringing a deadly weapon into the jail.